So first I'm going to be taking a small angled brush and a black from my 120 Pro palette and really closely lining the eye. You want to keep this as close to the lashes as possible and you're also going to be doing the same to underneath the eye and the inner corner of the eye. Once you've lined all around the eye we're going to create a small triangle shape on the outer corner of the eye and fill it in. Once you've done that we're going to be taking the small angled smudge brush and finely smudging all along the inner corner and the outer corner of the eye as well as the lower lid. Once we've done this you're going to take a contour brush and this is what you're going to use to make it much more smoky. For the outer corner you want to rub in circles but for along the lashes you want to rub backwards and forwards to get a smoky look. Now we're going to repeat all the previous steps again just to intensify the black which at the moment is a bit of a dull grey and we want it to have a really dark carbon black look. So now using the velvet liquid eyeliner I'm going to line the entire upper lid as close to the lashes as possible. Now I'm going to be using these false lashes. You want something that has very spidery but almost natural looking lashes. You want a doll like effect for this look. Apply it as close to the lashes as possible and I'm going to be using a gel. So taking it, I'm going to carefully line the lower lid. I prefer to apply concealer last because this hides any fallout which could have occurred while I was applying my makeup. Once I've done this, I'm going to finish off with my mascara and apply it on the lower lashes as well as the upper lashes just to blend them into the false lashes. You want a very doll-like effect so don't be afraid to really go overboard with the mascara. Finish off with a nude lip. And you can either wear a wig or you can use your natural hair. But either way, you're done. You're